So you might be noticing some of these signs behind us popping up throughout Queen Anne's County today and in the near future. And they're signs to help raise awareness for the heroin overdoses happening in the county. So we have a couple of the members from the Drug-Free Queen Anne's County Coalition to talk about what these signs are and what the awareness is all about. The signs are all about how many people are overdosing and or dying in Queen Anne's County. We know there are a lot more people than are, are listed on the signs because if they die in another county or another state, we don't get those numbers. They're, they're listed as dying in that county or state. Or if they overdose in another county or state, the numbers aren't included here. We're hoping to get better numbers. Uh, Commissioner Jim Moran is trying to work on that to get more accurate numbers. But we want everybody to be aware of this is happening in Queen Anne's County. It's happening everywhere. The majority of the numbers are between 18 and 35 years old. Yes, we get some people that overdose and or die in their 40s, but for the majority, it's the younger folks. And it doesn't matter what kind of education, what kind of business, anything. It, there's no socioeconomic boundaries with heroin and or the fentanyl or car fentanyl that's being found in the heroin when people overdose and die. And now we have these signs up that have the numbers going up but we want to see those numbers stop. So keep the awareness up, help us reduce the amount of heroin overdoses going on in Queen Anne's County.